Welcome back! Kerbal Space Program vs Juno New Origins. Two incredible space sims, but how do their launch sequences and ascents truly stack up? We are comparing stock and modded visuals, from camera shots around the space center to engine close-ups and the roar of ignition. Get ready for a detailed breakdown. I tried to create a really simple and comparable rocket for this. So, the rocket has one main engine and two boosters. It consists of just the engines, a tank, a capsule and a parachute. The thrust weight ratio at launch is 1.5. Here is a list of the most notable used mods in both games. For Juno there are not so many mods available, so the most notable one is by far Parallax, which also exists for KSP and is developed by the same awesome modder Lynx who is, by the way, also working on Kitten Space Agency now. For KSP, we most notably have Parallax Continued, Deferred, Firefly, Restock, Scatterer, Smokescreen and Waterfall. So let's get started with a standard launch sequence, how you would experience it while gaming. Obvious, but you immediately see the difference between stock and modded KSP. It looks like a whole different game. For Juno, Parallax makes a big difference because of the added details in the surroundings. Comparing Kerbal Space Program and Juno directly, I'd say that KSP offers a lot more details on the surroundings, on the rocket itself, the engines, the plumes. So this point goes to modded KSP. Now let's see a close up of the engine at launch. Comparing stock KSP and modded KSP, we see a clear improvement in the plume visuals and the smoke that is displayed, also the increased details of the engine. Between stock and modded Juno, we see no differences. Comparing KSP and Juno directly, I'd say that KSP again offers way more details on many aspects, so the point goes to modded KSP again. Next up, we are watching the ascent profile. Again, modding adds so much details, volumetric clouds, more detailed ground graphics, better plumes, the firefly plasma effects are amazing. The big modding community and the large amount of mods available for KSP brings modded KSP another point. Let's have a look at the space center, the launch site and the surroundings. Here the most important mod that adds to the experience is the Parallax mod in both games. But the additional mods that are available for modded KSP just add some more detail and we again have another point for modded KSP. Let's focus on the smoke now. Of course, mods add a good amount of smoke detail and make it more realistic. But the smoke in Juno just looks way smoother more fluid, more volumetric, this point clearly for me goes to Juno. Alright, the visuals are done, let's focus on sound now. Since it is quite easy to compare visuals in parallel, with sound that would not work, right? So let's go over them in sequence. Let's hear the sound of the actual launch. Modded KSP adds a lot more depth and force to the sound of the powerful engines, uh, just feels heavier. Juno, on the other hand, sounds more like a model rocket. This point goes to modded KSP again. And finally we have the sound during ascent.
Again, the same thing, modded KSP just feels heavier. Also, during ascent and the separation, Juno just sounds more like a model rocket. The last point goes to modded KSP as well. Let's summarize. We compared seven disciplines. Looking at the points, modded KSP is the clear winner here with six points. I mainly think this is because of the large modding community and the vast number of mods that are available for KSP. I'm currently doing an RP1 playthrough and RP1 feels almost like a completely new game. It is insane. I hope you enjoyed this comparison video. There will be some more coming that compare other aspects of the games. So don't forget to subscribe to not miss those. Do you agree or disagree on anything in this video? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.